With iOS 11 coming this fall, the app dock on your iPad will look and operate more like the dock from macOS. When you're in an app, the dock hides. To bring it up, just swipe from the bottom of the screen or return to the home screen. You can also swipe further up to bring up the new app switcher. To add apps to the dock, just long press until an app jiggles, then move it into the dock. You can then continue moving more apps into the dock. The dock can now hold well beyond the previous six app limit, holding up to three recently used apps and over 10 permanently affixed apps as defined by the user, varying depending on which iPad size you're using. Once finished, hit the home button to start using your apps. Users can dive into the iOS settings app and hide the recent apps from the dock by disabling the show recent setting. The dock also takes advantage of the new drag and drop feature, allowing you to drag an app from the dock into another app to bring up slide over mode. It's very useful in split view mode, allowing you to drag a file from one to another, like for example, dragging a file into an email you're composing. You can even select multiple items by tapping on them while you're dragging. You can also drag an item into an app in the dock. It will open up the app and continue dragging it around. You can also long press on the files app in the dock to open a list of the most recently accessed files. Then you can drag a file from there into another app. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.